Tadasana Mountain Pose. Come to the front of your mat, separate your feet hip width apart and open your palms to the front. Stand nice and tall with the crown of the head lifting up towards the skies. Getting ready to practice our vinyasa class with a few nice twists today. So from here on the inhale, reach your hands forward and up. Palms are shoulder width apart, look up towards the ceiling and with the exhale, soften the elbows and forward fold Uttanasana, release the head. Inhale for the first round, take your hands to your upper thighs for a halfway lift, draw the crown forward and release your hands down to the earth. Let's take a round of vinyasa, step the right foot back, step the left foot back into your plank. Really claw your fingertips down into the earth, shift forward onto your toes and then drop the knees down, tuck your elbows into the sides and all the way lower, all the way forward and down. On the inhale, lift into cobra, baby cobra. Heart is rising, shoulders are reaching to the heels. And then exhale, come through tabletop, all the way into a child's pose with the toes tucked under. So allowing the forehead to soften for a moment. And then for downward facing dog, have a look at your elbows are softly bent. Start to lift the knees all the way off the ground. And then find your first downward facing dog for this practice. Let your head be fully relaxed. So in down dog, we never want to engage the neck muscles here. Feet are hip width apart and then start to move one knee to the chest after the other. So you're walking your dog out on the spot. With your hands, lightly push the mat forward and away. So your arms are nice and long, soft bend at the elbows. And then come to stillness for a moment in downward facing dog. Keep the knees generously bent, lift through the hips. And now with the next inhale, reach your right leg back and up. Have a look that your hip is not opening here, so the toes are parallel with the floor. Right heel is reaching and the leg might be down here for you. So this is practice, lifting the leg slightly higher every time you come onto the mat. And now from here, bring the knee to your chest, look forward, and then step the right foot all the way through to the top of your mat. Drop the left knee down and for lower lunge, inhale, hands reach all the way forward and up. And just allow yourself to come back to your breath here. Take an in-breath, lift into your fingertips. Exhale, maybe draw the thumbs slightly further back, a light back bend here. Inhale, one more. And then circle your arms around the body, frame your foot with your hands and for down dog, step the right foot back in line with the left. Now we're gonna move on to the second side. So left leg is extending. And as you can see with my body, the left leg goes a lot less up because the right hip is more tight, but you're still trying to flex the toes towards you, push through the heel and then draw your knee to your chest. Come all the way forward and step the left foot through in between your hands. Right knee drops, inhale, reach your hands all the way up and open your heart towards, excuse me, towards the ceiling. Keep your feet lightly engaged. So imagine pushing the floor down. Inhale, one more breath, open your heart. And then on the exhale, draw your arms around the body. This time we step forward. So lift the right knee and step the right foot all the way through to the top of your mat. Inhale for Ardha Uttanasana, hands to the shins, maybe upper thighs again, and exhale forward, forward. Reach your hands forward and up, come to standing, mountain pose, palms together, and then draw your hands through the height, back into mountain pose. We take a second round, exactly the same as we've just done. We inhale, hands reach up. Exhale, forward, forward. Inhale, maybe the hands stay on the floor, extend your spine and then release your hands down. Step the left foot back, step the right foot back into your plank. For the second round, shift the body forward without the knees first. You can do it again. Lower the whole body down to the earth. Inhale for a bit of higher cobra. So lifting the heart, 
Maybe if your back allows you to lift slightly higher, exhale, draw the nose forward, relax the forehead, curl your toes under for child's pose, press up, always have a look at it. your elbows stay in, coming onto the heels, hips to the heels, surrender, and then for down dog, engage your hands, lift the knees, and come back into downward facing dog. So hopefully you're a bit warmer now. We're going to move into our twists from here. Extend the right leg back and up. From here, look forward. Step the right foot in between your hands. And if it doesn't fully go there, take the right hand, grab the ankle, and then step the foot with your help forward, dropping down with the left knee. Keep your left palm under the shoulder and raise your right hand up towards the ceiling. For this first twist, we try to move in and out so we get a bit more open and get more movement going through the body. For thread the needles, take your right hand underneath the left armpit, reach, look past your left shoulder, and then two more, all the way up. Inhale here, and exhale, thread the needle. One more breath, inhale to open the body. Exhale to reach underneath and over. And then come all the way up, see if that made a change. If you can lift the hands slightly further back and up and then lift the left knee, curl your toes under and come into a nice open twist here with a high lunge. Keep drawing the right knee forward, lightly push the left heel back and then really stabilize through your feet. Press into your feet, keep the hands where they are and then start to wheel your left hand forward and your right palm back. Now thinking, what are we doing here? This is a very energizing posture, but we try to activate through the legs a bit more by reaching and also rather reaching the hands away from one another. For two more of these rounds, wheel your left hand down and just very lightly make contact with the mat, right arm up, inhale and exhale, right hand back, left hand forward, keeping the balance. One more round. And then for downward facing dog, release your hands to the floor. Step the right foot all the way back. Very, very nice. Now let's see how this all works on the other side. Left leg moves back and up. Push through the heel, flex the toes towards you, and then step the left foot forward in between the hands. Dropping down with the right knee first for low lunge, right hand under the shoulder. Have a look here that your right elbow is bent. So the bony bit moves out to the side. And then open your left arm up towards the skies and just see where your shoulder is at with this first one. And then for thread the needles, take your left hand underneath the right, exhale all the way out. Two more, inhale. And exhale. One more round, inhale to open the body. Exhale to reach. Very, very nice. And then keep lifted in your low lunge with a twist. Curl your right toes under and lift into a high lunge twist. <clears throat> and as you lift here, have a look that your hips are lifting high. So the knee, the front knee is in line with your hip or with your glutes. And now let's see for the second side, become light on the right hand and then slowly with your balance, lift your arms. So you're getting a quite big twist, but if your body is here, that's great as well. So it doesn't matter how far you're twisting to the side, but reach your hands away from one another. For two more rounds, release your right hand down, left arm up, maybe look to your thumb, and then come all the way up to standing. One more round, inhale, exhale here, and then inhale all the way up, Exhale, hold it for a moment, reach, reach, reach. Very nice, and then for down dog, release the hands and step the left foot back in line with the right. Let's come into your, our vinyasa again, shifting forward into plank, shoulders over the wrists. Drop the knees or without dropping them, lower down to the earth. Inhale for baby cobra. If you feel like up dog, lift the knees, come into more of a back bend. And then lift at the hips, downward facing dog. From here, walk your hands to your feet. 
come all the way towards the back of your mat. And then inhale again, lift the body halfway, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana, relax the head. And then come up to standing, draw your arms forward and up. Inhale and exhale to release. And you can hear how I'm breathing, so this is not easy, but it's really good to strengthen the body and at the same time really draw and connect to that deep belly breath. We finish with a balancing posture today. So the left foot stays on the ground, left knee bent, and then lift your right foot. Imagine you're standing on something so your foot again is really flexed. And then take your left hand onto the knee and extend your right palm back probably going to show you this way. So the right hand is back. Think of this high lunge that we've just done and notice if your knee is still in line with your hip. Option staying here to make it more challenging. Turn your head and look toward your left thumb. Another option to make it a bit more challenging maybe. Grab your big toe with your peace finger, so index finger and middle finger and then lift your upper body and extend your left leg all the way forward and through. Your right leg, I think I said to you the right leg as I mirror you. Take one more inhale here, lift, lift, lift. Beautiful work and then as slow as you can, release and come all the way back. Let's move on to the other side. Shift away into your right foot. Lift the left leg, hands onto the hips. And this is already your balance, or if you don't feel like you can balance here physically today, just drop your toes down and stay there. Otherwise, from here, bring your opposite hand to your knee. Extend your other arm back for you, the left arm. And then again, you choose to stay here in a very upright standing position, or you might look towards the right hand. Choose to do that, so choose to hook your fingers around your big toe and then extend your leg forward or half extended, you can stay here. Wherever you are, wobbling or feeling quite stable today, feel your whole body in this balancing posture. Take one more inhale, you're almost there, one more exhale. Beautiful, beautiful work and then slowly, slowly release. You can finish the video here, or if you like to take it a bit more quiet, a bit more soft at the end of the practice, bring your big toes together, knees apart, and then for child pose, soften your body, melt your heart down to the earth, and take a few moments to surrender. Beautiful job, everyone. Thank you so much for practicing. Have a wonderful day from my heart to yours. Namaste. Mm -hmm.